Good morning, Mountain Vista. Good morning, Eagles. And welcome back to, to MVTV. Did you have fun at Hoko? Yes, there's nothing like a smelly hot room full of sweaty, dressed up kids. Ah, come on, Sid. It was fun. I wonder how the freshmen did with their first homecoming. I wonder how they've been doing with their first year at Vista. I think we need to check in on them as soon as possible. Let's take a look at what's been going on. It's been fun and exciting and the class has been great. Really good. There are a lot of people and the classes are fun. It's been pretty good, it's been really fun, and I really enjoy it. Pretty fun, I'm very excited, and uh, this last few weeks have been great. The games. I'm definitely getting involved in going to football games and just doing all the activities. Looking forward to going to all the sporting events and playing in other sports too. Wish week and going to games and being involved. Flag football and probably track. Definitely sports broadcasting or team sports. Filmmaking. Uh, my favorite class is probably art or AP Human Geography. I'm planning on getting involved in girls soccer and track. I'm currently in field hockey. I'm going to swim and play soccer. I am in girls volleyball. Oh, boy. Hey, be nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> okay. Congratulations to Mountain Vista Speech and Debate. The team competed with six novice students at the Cherry Creek Novice Congress Tournament. Every student, Venetia Aron, Helena Lara, Lee Dan Song, Audrey D. Lavera, Frederick Shee, and Kate Reeves received ribbons and were recognized for being notable speakers in their chambers. Frederick Shee took overall most outstanding speaker. This tournament kicks off their season, which runs all the way through March. Congratulations. Oh, by the way, did you go to the homecoming football game? Nah, I didn't get tickets. Oh, man. Speaking of football, let's take a look at the Vista Now feature on football defense. Howdy, Vista Nation. I'm Tyler Ruffel. I'm here with Carter Daniels, Austin Scheich, Will Stoops, and Bryce Bailey. I'm here to ask him a couple of questions about Vista's stud defense. The defense has been playing real well. We've allowed 18 points in four games. We've shut out two teams. Who have been some heavy contributors on the defense? Well, just in general, the whole defense has been doing their job, and that makes everybody just as important as the next, because if somebody messes up, then everybody's got to fix that one person's mistake and someone's out of position. It just doesn't go well. Fabian has taken a big step up this year. Um, he's been one of our best players, and I think he leads the team in sacks right now. The whole team's taken like a big step up. Uh, Q is taking a big step up. Fabian, those guys, the whole D-line's playing good. Lucas Conklin, a lot of young kids, a lot of older kids. been good. Adding on to the D-line, I'm going to say Aiden Vincent. He's been applying a lot of pressure to QBs, getting sacks. And I'd say Brooklyn Bailey. He has <laughs> a pick six already on the year, so that's really good. What's the uh, most important thing to stay consistent with on our defense? We just all need to do our jobs, like I was saying, because if I try to do Shike's job, I'm going to suck at it. And if he tries to do mine, he's not going to do it good either, and then that's how touchdowns happen. So if we just do our job and our responsibility, it'll be the same outcomes every single week that we've been having. Shutouts, six points, nothing more than that. Uh, I just think we need to keep our same mentality week to week. No matter who we're playing, nothing should change. We just do what we do. And I uh, think if we do that, uh, what's happened, we're going to keep going on the rest of the season. A lot of more shutouts. Yeah, I agree. I think we should uh, play physical, do your own job. Everybody's playing pretty well right now, so keep playing physical together. Uh, we all fly to the ball every single play, and it allows us to just make plays when if somebody misses a tackle, we already have somebody there to replace them. Four games into a 10-game season, almost halfway through. What are the expectations for the rest of the season? I mean, the only expectation at the end of the season is to win out and win state. That's where everybody's head's at right now. I'm speaking for them, but that's the goal. And we got to focus every game. The game that we're currently on is the most important one. It's not the next one, so. And what's the most important step into accomplishing that goal? 
the next game. The most important game is always the next one, so we've got to make sure to just focus on what's in front of us and keep going throughout the whole season. Keeping things a little less serious to finish off, what's the hardest hit you've ever been dealt or the hardest hit you've given out? Probably last week when I knocked the dude's helmet off. <laughs> uh, last year against Castleview, I decleated a kid on the sideline. That was awesome. I'm going to be less cool and say when I tried to truck this kid in the Cherry Creek game last year, he just like kneed my face. Um, against Castleview last year, I made a hit on kickoff and it turned off my arm for like five minutes. <laughs> All right, thank you boys for your time. Good luck on the rest of the season. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. All righty. Now I'll get Go Eagles! Speaking of sports, let's cut to Sean with his <clears throat> old predictions for the homecoming game against Valor. What's your prediction for tonight's football game? Uh, Vista 42, Valor 21. Great prediction. Amadou, what's your prediction for tonight's game? Uh, I think we're going to beat Valor. I'm really excited. What, what, what's the score prediction? 35-14. Uh, 35-14, you heard it here first. Hey, what's up, Judah? Tell me a quick prediction for tonight's game. Uh, I'm going to say Vista wins 42-14. 42-14. What's up, Sergio? Give me a quick score prediction for tonight's game. I'll say it's going to be 45-28. to 45-28. I'm here with Mr. Wood. Although your score prediction was perfect at halftime, you were still 20 points off the actual score, but still the closest, so... You want a $10 Chick-fil-A card. I wanted to give you Amazon card, but the cheapest one they had was 50, so. <laughs> That's all right, I appreciate it, thanks guys. Yeah, thank you. Now, let's see if he was right. Pushes back, he'll find deep. In the pocket, got lots of time, he'll air it deep. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, big toss, keep going, oh my way, go away. Touchdown, Touchdown. Mountain Vista. In first time in 20 years, have beaten the Valor Christian Eagles. You don't know anything about sports, do you? No. Any whizzle, do you have any plans for fall break? Not really. I'm thinking about staying inside and just watching some scary movies. The movie sounds good. What's your favorite? Well, probably the Scream movies. Speaking of movies, did you hear about the movie I was in? Yes. Present the trailer. on the minds of Gable Studios. Comes a new motion picture. Filled with mystery, suspense, and murder. A twisted mystery and a far more twisted killer. Can this detective crack the case? Gable Studios presents Loaded Dice. I would definitely go see that movie. Way to go, Vista Film students. What did you think, Chonk? Very well said. Hmm. Yes, for real. Thanks, Chonk. I'm Mia Castellano. And I'm Sid Coleman. And this is Chonk. Thank you, Mountain Vista. We will see, see you next, next week. week. Signing, signing off. off. Oh boy. What's up, Chonk? Chonk! He attacks. Calm down. <laughs> We're friends. I'm, I'm, whoa, Chonk, calm down. No, no, no. <laughs> I thought raccoons were supposed to be nice. Some of them are, others are feral. They just, brah. Did you know my dog has killed three raccoons? <laughs> I wish I was joking. Did you know I have a scruffy raccoon in my neighborhood? My don't parents, let my dog go around it. My parents won't let me feed it graham crackers. I am very sad. <laughs> I'm very sorry for your loss. It's okay. I haven't seen it around in a while either. I don't know what happened. My dog got to it. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs>